Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I went about using a pre-created uh, file of an iPhone to create a case for that phone. Uh, just to give you an idea here, here's the finished phone with all the cutouts. And show you the bottom one as well. There we go. So the first step to do this is to get the file for the phone. Um, GrabCAD is a excellent website. Uh, it's got all, it's got tons of CAD files. Um, anything you can think of, it has them. Uh, you just want to make sure you're going to download a type of file that will open up in whatever program you're going to use. So in this case, I'm using using Inventor Fusion, and the file is a uh, STEP file which is a .stp uh, file extension. So once you uh, go ahead and download it, you do need an account, but it's totally free. You can uh, link it through your Facebook if you want. It's really easy. Download the file, open it up. Here we go. First step is I'm going to create the outer walls of the case. So to do this, I'm going to get a bottom view here showing our back plate. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit here. Uh, I'm working on a MacBook Pro, so I'm using the trackpad, so it is a little finicky. Uh, also, just to give you an idea, I'm working on a 2009 MacBook Pro with 8 gigs of RAM and a 2.9 gigahertz processor. Uh, the screen recording is slagging the computer a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going, ahead, going to go ahead, click the back plate, go to sketch, whoop, sorry about that, go to sketch, and choose offset. This is a great tool, really useful. You're going to notice it now create a sketch of that back plate of the phone. Go ahead and just click that outer outline. And now move your mouse out. This is going to be the outer wall of the phone, so of the case, I'm sorry. So I'm going to do a 2 millimeter wall in this case. And press enter twice, and now we have it. If I go ahead and actually shut off the iPhone real quick, I'll show you what it is that we're looking at. I'm going to say stop sketch, I shut off the iPhone, and now you can see this is the iPhone plate. And this in here is the actual, is what we're actually looking for. This is going to be the actual rim or um, outer wall of the case. We need to expand this or extrude it so that we have walls. So I'm going to turn back on the iPhone real quick, just so we have a representation of the iPhone. And I'm going to come back to my home view just so I can kind of reorient myself, know where I am. Home view is really useful for if you've zoomed in and moved yourself around a lot to kind of get back to a starting point. And I just need an angle so I can kind of click on that wall. It's perfect. Let me zoom in a little bit. Right there. That should do it. Now I want to select this rim, and it's important to note that we're not selecting that back plate, we're only selecting that uh, offset piece that we created. I'm going to choose extrude. Now the first part of this is actually going to extrude away from the phone. Now I could type in negative and bring it towards the phone, but that's okay because I'm actually going to create the extra um, case, the extra um, width of the case needed for the backplate of the phone. And in this case, I'm going to do a three millimeter thick backplate. That way there's a little bit added protection. So I'm going to click in three millimeters. And you can notice now that there's a thickness here behind the phone. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. And this time we're going to bring it up to the phone. And uh, it's hard to notice in this case, but the arrow is actually now pointing the other way. So since we've done it once one way, now we're going to do it once the other way. <clears throat> uh, in this case, I know I need a nine. I need it to be nine point five millimeters, so that it is so that it is flush with the iPhone. So I'm going to go back to our home view here, just to show you real quick what we got. I'm going to turn off the iPhone. Now you're going to notice we have a almost like a bumper. Uh, like those iPhone bumpers they used to sell. Cool. Now what we need is we need to create the actual backplate. So I'm going to come back. 
to our bottom view. One thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go into our bodies and I'm going to call this case. Um, really nice thing is you can name all these objects, these bodies, these sketches, and these components so you really can keep track. Uh, do that, just double click on it, type in what you want. There we go, maybe. There we go, okay. Now, to create this backplate, we're going to use the fact that we can make a sketch out of a component really easily. So, I'm going to click sketch. I'm going to pick anything in the sketch. It does not matter. Uh, you can pick the line, you can pick anything. We just need to specify the uh, sketch plane. And we're just going to select that backplate. Now we're going to say stop sketch. Now, just like before, when we use the offset tool, you notice that this is all outlined. So, just to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to turn off the iPhone again. It's important to realize that the iPhone here is just a reference point. So, it's important that the iPhone is at exact dimensions. Um, without a 3D printer available to me yet, it's hard for me to test this. Uh, but what I would do once I have a 3D printer is print a test, try my phone in it, and then alter it from there, maybe push a wall, uh, half a millimeter or a millimeter in either direction, stuff like that. So now let's look at this sketch we have here. We've got the backplate with the cut with the indicators of the lens, the flash, and the Apple logo. In this case, I don't want to show the Apple logo through the case, so I'm actually going to go ahead and remove this outline. There's a couple different ways to do this. One way is you can hover your mouse over the green line until it turns to a white. Click once, press delete. Another way to do this is I've zoomed in a little bit here. I still have some of this outline to get rid of. I'm going to select inside of something so that I can move my mouse around. I'm going to left click and drag. I'm going to get this blue marquee. And now that's all selected and I press delete. So now you can see that's gone. Perfect. Uh, we don't want to get rid of our reference marks for the lens. And for the flash, we want to keep those because we actually need to expand upon those. Uh, in order to make the cutouts, uh, we're going to use these. Now, it's important to note that if you look at any iPhone case, the cutouts for the lens and the flash always are different. Some do uh, large, wide openings. Others do smaller, uh, circular openings that just add a little bit more free space. We're going to do one of the latter. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the offset tool again. And I want to edit this sketch plane. And the first curve I'm going to select is the one for the lens. I'm just going to kind of bring it out here. I think I'm going to do three millimeters for the for the lens. Do the same thing again now for the flash. And this is again the sort of thing you'd want to check um, once you have a 3D printer to see if the flash is being interfered with or if there's any obstructions or anything like that. I'm going to do another 3 millimeter uh, offset on this one as well. And now go ahead and we want to take out those inner references for the flash, for the lens. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this inner section here. So to do this, we're going to go back to sketch and we're going to choose trim. And we're going to, it says select curve section to trim, and you'll notice it. It knows what we want because it's intersecting. I'm just going to click and it disappears. I'm going to do the same thing again. This is just really useful. You never want extraneous lines. You always want to clean up your sketches as much as you can. So now that we've done that, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to stop my sketch. We're going to select the back plate. I'm going to pick extrude. Now we're going to extrude it three millimeters so that's flush with the back of the outer case. This is also going to actually give us the base for the phone itself to sit on. So there we go. Super simple case that we've now made uh, that we're starting to make all the cutouts in. And I've got a lot of hard edges which I want to take care of. So to do this I'm going to use the fillet tool in the three or the solid um, tool panel. I'm going to choose the fillet. I'm going to now just select this edge. I'm going to select the other edge as well. And 
I'm just going to go ahead and do one millimeter on this. So now we got a nice soft <clears throat> um, sort of relief to go into there with. Now I still have these hard edges here and here where the two circles met. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to select that. I'm going to go to fill it. And I'm going to do one millimeter. And if you notice, it just kind of pushes in those hard corners a little bit. It just gives it a really nice rounded look. It also actually opens up that cutout a little bit more. So there we are now. Again, if we pop the iPhone back in, you just see how that's going to look at the phone. Now let's go ahead and we're going to use another technique to create a different cutout. So I'm going to go to the right of our phone. I'm going to actually turn off the case. I'm going to turn back on the iPhone. I'm going to zoom in a bit here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a cutout, one cutout for all three of these objects. So to do this, I'm going to choose the rectangular two point from the sketch. And for the sketch, I'm for the sketch plane, I'm going to select this plane here where these buttons are. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want this to be, but you could obviously measure it out um, to make sure that it's going to work, that you're going to be able to access those buttons and all of that. I'm just going to eyeball it here. That looks pretty good. Now we've done that. All we need is that one. We're going to stop the sketch. We're going to turn off the iPhone again. And when I do this, you're going to notice that it created a sketch plane of that entire piece. So we can go ahead and delete this. Again, just selecting it until it goes white and then pressing the delete button. Now we're left with what our cutout's going to be. Uh, you're going to notice that these are hard edges. And again, I don't like the idea of that. So I'm going to go ahead and under our sketch menu, choose fill it, which is going to allow us to do a rounded corner. I'm going to select that rectangle as the plane. And now I'm just going to click the corner. Let me do that again. I'm going to just click that corner once, and now I can just push in from there. I'm going to do two millimeters on these. If you accidentally click one of these lines, and then it says select the second line or arc, just go ahead and click the other one, and then you're good to go. Perfect. Now this is going to be the cutout for that lock switch and the um, volume buttons. Now, what I'm, what I, one more thing I need to do before I can extrude it is I need to move it away from the side of the case. Because if I turn on our case right now, it's actually going to be embedded into the wall, which we don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the move tool. I'm going to select the sketch. And I'm going to get just a little bit of a different view here so I can move it. And click our home button. Go ahead and click. I'm going to grab this arrow right here. And I'm just going to move it a millimeter or two in the Y direction. And now, if you notice, there's that other line over here. I'm just going to pull that out. Great. Now, we go ahead and turn back on your case. And you're going to see it kind of popping through over there. We need to get a different view so that we can actually see it now. So, I'm going to go ahead and now we're going to just extrude this through the case. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to pick extrude. And you can type in however much. You just want to make sure it's going to go through the case. I usually do, in this case, uh, for this, I've just been using 10 millimeters as the extrude amount because I know it will go all the way through. You're going to notice it's red. It's red because it's cutting out and it's cutting through. Go ahead and press OK. And now we have that cut out. So this was another way to create a cutout um, by creating a sketch and just extruding it through as opposed to offsetting. I'm going to go ahead and turn the iPhone back on here. And now you can see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and fill it this edge as well. And enter. And again, it just gives that finished look. We've got um, the cutouts to make up here and the cutouts to make on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do over here first, we'll do the headphones. We got the headphone port, we have the sound canceling microphone, and we have the power. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the case again. 
So this is a really nice detailed drawing that has both the headphone and also the sound canceling microphone. Uh, you don't want to block the sound canceling microphone. You want to make sure you're leaving that open. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and use the offset tool again, just like we did last time. We're going to select this plane and we're going to first offset from the headphone port. Okay, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and stop sketch. I'm going to delete these inner circles. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this excess here as well. Now the last thing to do is to get rid of this excess, get rid of the rectangular box. Now we're going to do the exact same thing again where we move this a little bit away from the wall. Grab that Y arrow. Or actually, I'm sorry, it's the Z arrow now technically and shift that away. Here you can actually see in reference to where the, that uh, curve of the iPhone is, that where this button is. That's okay, that's just gonna give us a little bit more uh, room to press that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select both of these by holding uh, shift and just clicking on each. I'm gonna choose extrude, and that's gonna push both of these for us. Press okay, and now you can see those cutouts. Come back here, since we're a little all over the place, I'm gonna come back here to our home view. And there they come. Now we've got just one thing left, which is the dock, which is the dock connector and the speakers, or actually the speaker and the microphone. Away. And again, as, as much as a millimeter or even a half a millimeter will work because we won't be right up against the case. Turn back on the case. Go ahead, grab your extrude. And now we have that cutout. Now go ahead, go back home the back in the iPhone and now I'll just go ahead and give you sort of a 3D view here of this case so we've got the cutouts for the power button for the headphone jack and for the sound cancelling microphone for the audio uh, for the um, I'm sorry for the volume buttons and for the silent switch the cutouts for the speaker the other microphone and the dock port again I would go ahead and fill up this edge these edges, do that just like you did before. Choose the fillet tool and select them all. On the back of the phone, we've got the cutout for the flash and for the camera. Uh, again, if you want to make a cutout for the Apple logo, that's up to you. And that's really simple, an iPhone case, um, modeled off of a CAD drawing of an iPhone.